O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. These are the words which begin Psalm 95, and we do praise God as we gather together today. Thank you for joining the people of St. Paul's United Methodist Church in these video highlights of our worship service this weekend. I'm Amy Jo Burr, the pastor of St. Paul's, and I invite you to join me in a spirit of prayer as we begin. Almighty God, we praise you for the wonders of your creation, the depth of your love, and the blessings that you send to your people. Receive our songs of praise today as we open our hearts to receive your inspiration. Amen. Please join me in the singing of our opening hymn, How Great Thou Art. Words will appear on the screen so you can join in with the singing. Our first scripture reading today is Psalm 98. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills sing together for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
During the last several weeks, I've been preaching a sermon series on awe and wonder. We've considered some of the different inspirations for awe in our life. We've discussed moral beauty, natural beauty and natural wonders. We've talked about religious experiences and how each of these things can help inspire a sense of awe in us. And today we conclude this sermon series with a focus on inspirational music. Now, as someone who grew up in a musical family, you can see me smile. This is a topic near and dear to my heart, and I hope that you also find inspiration as we consider how music leads us to a place of awe and wonder. As we look at research regarding how music affects people, and how it can be a source of inspiration for awe, we find that music inspires people around the world, no matter where they live and what culture they might be from. Uh, One researcher wrote, in our 26 culture study, people often wrote that music brought them moments of clarity, of epiphany, of truth, of really knowing their place, in the great scheme of life. And this is part of the beauty of moments of awe and wonder for us. They lead us to a greater place of understanding our connection with each other in community and our connection with God. They open us to a great sense of appreciation of our place in the greater world and a deeper humility. Now, no matter where you are in the world, music is something that can inspire you to awe and wonder. And while participants in studies about music definitely preferred their own genres, which were popular in their home country, yet there was also a connection and a universality in that once people who participated in this international study had identified the emotion that they associated with a piece of music, people from across the world could also identify that same emotion related to the music. In other words, we might enjoy and have preferences for different styles of music, but the way it moves our heart to emotion seems to be connected across the globe. Isn't that wonderful? Now, many people have memories of moments of awe or wonder inspired by music. And I hope that maybe you'll just pause this video and take time to reflect, or if you're watching this with a friend, to share a bit about some of the musical moments when you've experienced awe and wonder. We can experience those moments many ways, and I encourage you to participate in music by doing things like singing along with our chancel choir, ringing with our bell choir, playing a musical instrument, singing along with the radio if you're not a choir person, or simply attending a concert and letting the sound of the music wash over you. We can also encourage others to join in with us appreciating music by sharing concert tickets, serving on the leadership board of a musical organization, or inviting friends to sing with you in the chancel choir or ring with you in the bell choir. All of these are ways that we can share the gift of the joy of music. In our religious tradition, music truly is a joy, and the Psalms remind us that there is a whole book of the Bible filled with songs that give praise to God. As we wind up this sermon series today by focusing on the joys of music and the way it can inspire us, I want to remind you about some of the topics that we've discussed previously regarding awe and wonder. When we experience awe and wonder, 
it's shown to quiet what sociological researchers refer to as the highly competitive default self. And once this high sense of competition is quieted in us, we can experience a deeper sense of humility, which is something, in fact, Christ's taught to us as part of Christian character. Awe and wonder can also open us to more easily find our connection with God, with each other, and with the natural world that surrounds us. Experiences of awe and wonder on a regular basis are also associated in the research with great health benefits like longer life expectancy, reduced chances of depression, and increased kindness and compassion. These types of full self health are a very good thing. Now, as I said, there are many reasons that, uh, including some times of awe and wonder in our life, are beneficial to us. And I encourage you to do that. And we have been looking at some of the different inspirations for awe and wonder. Now, we talked about how moral beauty is the most common factor which might inspire awe in people. And so I encourage you to listen for inspiring stories. Allow them to lift you up and share your own stories of moral beauty. This is one of the ways that we witness as the church is by sharing stories of goodness from our own lives so that they can inspire others. Natural beauty, by appreciating the beautiful natural world that God has created for us and finding some time in our life to take a walk in nature or look at some beautiful pictures of vast panoramic views. These are things which can encourage us to awe. By regularly practicing the spiritual disciplines of prayer, meditation, and receiving the sacraments. We open ourselves to time with God when we can find awe and wonder through religious awakening. Moments of birth, new life, and resurrection are all things to be honored and which can also be times filled with awe for us as we contemplate God's gift of new life and the miracle that it is. And finally, today, we consider how music can lift us up and bring us to a special place of praising God and relationship with our Creator. Now, why wouldn't we do some of these things? That's a question that's been haunting me. And I realize that sometimes apathy can be strong or that we don't look actively for opportunities to do these things. Maybe overly busy and packed full schedules may not include time for sharing moral beauty or a quiet walk in the woods. And so I encourage us to so order our lives in a way that makes time for moments of awe and wonder, that makes time for prayer and meditation, that makes time for singing, playing an instrument, or listening to beautiful music. God is waiting to meet us in a moment of epiphany, inspiration, awe, and wonder. Won't you reach out your hand to God and meet God in that beautiful moment of inspiration? Amen.